Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a video calling FaceTime effect like this in the Spark AR Studio for Instagram and I will also provide you all the assets you need for this filter. So let's start! Hey again, so let's create this FaceTime video calling filter here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start creating the filter here in the Spark AR Studio, make sure you have downloaded all the assets we need for this filter. You can find them in a download link in the description below. So just click on the download link and then download them from my Dropbox. So the next thing, when you have downloaded everything, we have to import the assets you have just downloaded. The first asset I want to import is the GIF. This is the video which will be shown when the animation is gone and this is more or less the the yeah the person you are phoning i have chosen a video of mine from this summer so we will do this as a summer calling filter so we go here to add asset then go to import and select texture animation so then here choose click on choose file and then select the gif i have included in the download folder but of course you can use any other gif you want to include for this filter. If you don't know how to convert a video file to a GIF file, um, yeah, look at the video I will link here in the corner or in the description because I yeah, covered this in my last video on how to yeah, convert a video file to a GIF file so you can use it in this bug AR studio. So now this video is a little bit too big. At the mo moment it has a size of 7.38 megabytes. We have to be below Four megabytes. So for this I select this texture reduction here, click on this box to activate it and then yeah, set down the quality to let's say 40% and now we have a current size of 3.26 uh, megabytes but there is a red cross but never mind we can move on. So click just on import and the video will be imported into the Spark AR studio and Spark AR um, creates for us three assets, the animation sequence, the texture and the material. First thing we have to do after the import is to click on the texture, go to the right hand side and set the compression to none. So the next thing is that we want to cover this um, video, the whole screen size. So for this we go to our scene where Spark AR also automatically had yeah um, created this plane for us so now we just have to click on it then change to the scaling um, tool and then just scale the plane so it covers the whole um, yeah viewport so sound um, looks good now we can move on the next thing is to add a rectangle object because we also want to see us before we start calling so now just create a rectangle go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height to fill height the next thing is of course to create a material for this rectangle for this go to add asset material and create a new material we want to show here the camera texture so for this we have to extract the camera texture of the camera of course so go to the scene click on the camera Go to the right hand side and click on the little plus next to texture extraction. Now we can find this camera texture in our textures folder in the assets panel. Now click on the material. I will rename this material to camera. Go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Also select as the texture our camera texture. Now we can go to our rectangle. I will also rename this to camera and set as material our camera material we have just created. So now I'm back with this. So the next thing is to create an overlay because we also want some kind of transparent black overlay. For this add a new object, a rectangle object. Also go to the right hand side and fill width and fill height. Next of course create a material, set the shader type to flat and I will rename this to overlay and then select as a color the black one. Next thing is to go to the rectangle, also rename this to overlay, so we yeah, know which rectangle is which because there come a few more. So the next thing is to 
select as material the overlay material. Now all is black. To change this, go to the overlay material and then set the opacity to about, yeah, let's say 30%. Nice. So, the next thing is that we import another two PNGs I have yeah, included to the download folder. So just select the two and then just drag and drop it here into the Spargy R Studio and then we can find it here in the textures, um, yeah, in the Spargy R Studio in the assets panel. Now just select both of them, go to the right hand side and set the compression to none. So next thing is we have to create another two rectangles. So for this add a new object, add a rectangle and just copy and paste them. So the first rectangle here, rectangle zero, I will set to a rename to calling and the second one to in car. So select both of them, go to the right hand side of course and set the width and height to fill height. So next we have to create two materials the in call material and also just copy and paste it a uh, um, calling material so again select both and set the shader type to flat so now just um, select the in car material and select as texture the in car texture next for the calling the same but here select the calling texture now we can go back to our scene select the calling rectangle and set the material to calling and also do the same for the in call rectangle but here select as a rectangle uh, material the in call material so now we have our buttons here on the bottom but there's one thing left the text which will appear here so the name of the caller and also the calling thing for this we have to create two 3d textures so here's the first one I will go to the right hand side and set this to summer because I want me to that summer is calling me and now go up to the prop of the properties and select here to align to center and also fill with so also again align to center then I will set the color to white to for a better contrast and yeah, change the font to the um, Facebook Sans regular. So now I will move this a little bit down and now I will just duplicate this text and then yeah, to have a second one I will go to the right hand side and here for the text value this should be calling with three dots. Now they are overlaying but no problem just drag and drop it underneath. So I also want this to be a little bit smaller so I changed the font size of the second text of the calling text to 20. So now it looks good, a little bit up. And yeah, this is the start screen. We want to see when we start the filter. But yeah, now we need to animate this. So when we tap on the screen, the animation moves on and this is disappearing and this is changing. And also the overlay should disappear. For this, we are opening our patch editor of course so now we want to start it with a screen tab so for this we add a screen tab patch to our patch editor so next thing is that we add a switch patch and the gesture state output of the screen tab goes into the turn on of the switch so next thing is to make sure that we yeah have here simulate touch on that we can test the filter and when we build it up. So the next thing is that we are yeah, extracting all the visibilities of the text of the rect and the rectangles. For this just select all the, the objects here in the scene, go to the right hand side and click on the little arrow here next to visible. So now we have extracted all the visibility property to the patch editor, of course you can do this also for um, every single one but selecting all of them is much easier so now we have the problem that we don't know which text is which so yeah um, just make sure you name them right but at, at this um, yeah, use case it's um, not big of a deal because both of the text should disappear so then 
So move them around so you know which one is which. And then add a new patch because we also need a not patch. This not patch, the output of the on off of the switch goes into the signal input of the not. So now we want to um, want to see um, one thing when we tap on the screen and this is the in car um, rectangle. So the in car rectangle gets the output of the switch. Everything else here um, is will be connected with the not output. So the 2D text, the both 2D texts, the calling and also the camera. Ah, not the camera, just the overlay. So we can um, yeah, um, delete the camera. So and now we can test this already. When we click on it, everything else goes away and here this comes up the in call um, overlay. So now just restart the filter and we are back. The next thing we have to do and also the last thing we have to do is to slide or to animate the camera that it goes up to the right upper corner. To do this, select the camera rectangle in the scene, go to the right hand side and here we have to extract two properties. The first property is the position. So just click on the um, little arrow next to position and the second one is the scale property. Also click on the little arrow next to scale. So now we have those two um, yeah, those two new properties in our patch editor and now we can animate them. So the first thing we have to add is an animation patch and here we can um, the output of the switch goes into the play input of the animation and Spark AR also creates this push patch automatically for us. So the next thing is to add a transition patch and um, here we have to set from vector 3 to vector 2 because this is just a 2D element so we just need um, two values for this and of course we need another transition patch so just duplicate this. Now the progress of the animation, out, the output progress of the animation patch goes into the progress input of both of the transition patches. So now the first thing we want to do is the scale. So here the start is the is one because the scale of the start scale is one and the um, yeah and scale is let's say 0.3 for x and also for y. So now when we connect this to the camera to the 2D, 2D scale we can already test this animation. So just go to your viewport and click on the screen. So now you can see the camera is yeah getting smaller and it sits in the middle but we want it on the right upper corner so we need this animation too. So restart the filter and now play around here with the transition. So the start is at 0, 0 and the end is about, yeah. Now we can do a trick, um, start the filter and now we can connect the value output of the transition with the 2D position and now we can play around with our end position. So because the start is 0, 0 and the end is let's say 100 and the y is minus 250. No, that's too much. Let's say 200. And now this is the position I want. And of course, we can now test it. So restart the filter and then tap on the screen again. I will make this bigger. And now this is the outcome we wanted to. So yeah, pretty nice, I think. I think that's a pretty funny filter. You can use, of course, any video you want and any text you want. But for me, summer is calling um, was a nice thing here because I really miss summer <laughs> now in the winter times. But yeah, I hope I could help you with this video. If yes, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.